five, four, three, two. Good afternoon. Today is Tuesday, October 22nd. Now over to Jamie with some more announcements. Thank you. The quote of the day today is, Sometimes the questions are complicated and the answers are simple by Dr. Seuss. Lunch for today is chili and ham and cheese melt. And lunch for tomorrow is pepperoni pizza and a hot combo rib sandwich. Now over to your weather report. Good afternoon, CV. Today's going to be a high of 65 with a low of 48. And as I said yesterday, there is a chance of showers today. And then tomorrow is going to be a high of 63 and a low of 38. And it's going to be bright and sunny. Now over to headline news. Well, new at 6 o'clock, an inspiring story involving a Milwaukee police officer and a mother that he pulled over. The officer noticed that something was unsafe, so he took it upon himself to help out. Sean Gallagher has a story. On these busy streets, Milwaukee police say they see kids without the proper seating all of the time. So far this year, they say they've given out 122 citations because of it. But a majority of those have gone to kids who are under four years of age. 77 tickets given out so far this year. So all of this has been top of mind for one Milwaukee police officer. A big pet peeve of mine is little ones that are not in a car seat. Officer Kevin Zimmerman has been with the Milwaukee Police Department for about 12 years. He took the oath to protect and serve, and he took the word protect to another level this weekend when he noticed on a routine traffic stop, three kids weren't in car seats. She said, can't afford them at this time. With bills coming up and the winter coming up, I got to get coats and boots and shoes and stuff. So it was kind of hard for me. So Officer Zimmerman took matters into his own hands and bought two car seats for her younger children at a nearby Walmart for about 75 bucks. But it didn't stop there. Not only did he give us the car seats, he actually put them in for me. I, mean, I didn't do this to be praised or dad or boy or anything like that. I did it because I'm a parent and I didn't want nothing to happen to these kids. And his gesture will keep Andrella's kids safe. The Centers for Disease Control says car seats reduce the risk of death to infants by 71 percent and toddlers by 45 percent. I said I got three kids at home. If this were to happen to my kids, I would be devastated the rest of my life. He is awesome. I really love him. I really appreciate everything he did for us. Children's Hospital offers help for parents just like Andrella to give them free or low cost car seats to keep their kids safe. We'll have more information on how you can access that at TMJ4.com. Just look for this story. In Milwaukee, Sean Gallagher, today's TMJ4. Seniors, the Central PA chapter of the Women's Transportation Seminar is announcing the continuation of its local and national scholarship program. This scholarship is open to female students currently attending high school and who is considering a college degree in STEM-related transportation field. Please stop in the guidance office if you are interested in applying to pick up a copy of the scholarship application. The deadline for the list track field trip has been extended to this Friday. All 10th through 12th graders have the opportunity to attend to learn more about what is involved with starting and maintaining a profitable business. If you are interested in computers and business, this trip is for you. Please see Mr. Marinero, Mr. Ridinger, or Mrs. Stauffer if you have further questions or would like a permission slip. This week in the guidance office, the following college representatives will be here. If you are interested in speaking with them, please stop in the guidance office to see Mrs. Dan McDaniel to receive a pass. Wilson College, today, October 22nd at 9 a.m. Thaddeus Stevens, tomorrow, October 23rd at 1.30 p.m. University of Richmond, Thursday, October 24th at 10.30 a.m. Le Lebanon Valley College, Thursday, October 24th at 8.30 a.m. In Cleveland Institute of Art, Friday, October 25th at 11 a.m. Now over to What's in the Box. 
<laughs> uh, we know it's dead. Damn it, you're gonna dump it everywhere! <laughs> what are no. you doing? Devin! What am I just like smacking? Devin, you dummy! Oh, there he is. He's gotta be cute. Oh, oh, what was that? Did that move? No, you can't. Oh, oh, Hi, welcome back to this week's episode of What's in the Box. This is where you find out what's inside the box. And today we have Isaac and Raquel on Drone Day. Drone Day. Drone Day. <laughs> drone Day. Drone day. <laughs> it won't be Drone Day. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Isaac's the odd man out. Okay, so you guys know the rules. One person sticks their hand through this side. The other person sticks their hand through that side. And you guys guess. Over guesses at first, get it to point. This is the first item. <laughs> this is the first yeah. item. <laughs> yummy, yummy. <laughs> no, that's razor shavings. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> we Red. Um. Okay, you guys can turn around now. Yeah. It's time for the first item. There you go. No pieces, just just, look through, just stick your hand through the hole. It's a lollipop. <laughs> yeah, but what kind of lollipop? The one that's like the owl one. Uh, <laughs> like the owl, yeah, it's a That's the owl one. Yeah. <laughs> you, guys, you guys can keep it. Oh, wow. You guys can keep the lollipop. <laughs> that's why we put the starting item as a lollipop. <laughs> you guys can pocket the item. Do you want the lollipop? You want okay. pocket the item. <laughs> Okay, you guys can turn around. <laughs> this one's going to take some preparation. No, don't worry about it. <laughs> 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 okay, let's go. Yeah. yeah. Close the closet. Okay, shaving cream. Uh, 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 is, it, uh, uh, is it shaving cream? Uh, 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 yeah, baby. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That was like instantaneous. You can, t you can tell by the texture. Like, yeah, it's kind of squishy. You know? It's not. It's, it's like it's like structure. <laughs> when you use a little cream, it would have been like like your fingers went through. Devin, fall through, through, through a napkin. It it. It's not gonna travel very far. I, I see that. Good job, guys. It was not blowing up it all over the box, so then we don't have anything to clean <laughs> <laughs> or the table. You good? It's not coming. <laughs> <sighs> Your hand went all in it. I just like what? That'd be pretty great. <laughs> 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 Alright, let's go. 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 Let's go.
Real Cinemas is a new movie theater that is located on Harrisburg Pike across from Longs Park. They will be holding a hiring event on Saturday, October 26th from 12 till 5. Walk-ins welcome 11 a.m. through p.m. October 22nd through 25th. So get real and join the movies. Attention freshmen. A reminder to all freshmen that the Gertrude Hawk chocolate sale is going on for one more week. All orders and money are due to Mr. Helms in room 220 on Tuesday, October 29th. Only one prize for selling 20 items has been claimed. All three prizes for selling 10 items are still available. If you have sold 10 items, stop by room 220 to win $10. Please sell to your family and friends and ask your parents to take the catalog and order a form to work and sell there. If you have any questions, please see Mr. Helms. There will be a rifle team informational meeting next flex on October 29th in room 233. Any questions, contact Coach Oxidine. Due to rain forecasted for the entire day, Fall Fest has been rescheduled for November 5th. <laughs> now over to CB Sports. There's an away boys soccer district playoff game at Cumberland Valley at 5. Dismissal at 2.25. There's a home girls soccer district playoff game against Red Lion at 7. Come out and support the Bucks. Now over to sports highlights. Third and two. Here's the pitch to Michelle. Blockers in front and easily in as Ben Watson paved the way for Sony Michelle. The end of this first quarter. Second and eight. Brady's going to take a shot. And Philip Dorsett with the touchdown catch. To get on top of him, and Brady drops it in. Pressure off the edge. Ball is out, and the Patriots have it. Kyle Van Oy on the return. Inside the five and walks it in. Discussion. The ball recoverer's foot was touched. He'll be down at the 48-yard line. It's a fumble and a recovery by New England and a first down. Ben's trying to hold here. And fighting his way in that time is Michelle. 27 situations of third and 10 or longer. Picked off again. Duran Harmon. 18 quarters against the Patriots, 40 drives, no touchdowns. Oh boy, and it just got worse as smartly Darnold just bats it out, but penalty will come in. And again to play fullback in front of Sony Michelle. And with it, Michelle goes in again. His third touchdown of the night. That's all the announcements we have for you today. On behalf of WCVH, I'm Lauren, alongside Ellen. Have a tropical Tuesday. So tell me to leave, I'll pack my bags, get on the road. Find someone that loves you better than I do, darling, I know. Cause you remind me every day I'm not. like a lifetime just trying to get by while we're dying inside i've done a